Hey everybody, welcome to another Sim Gamer TV tutorial. This one's going to be a little bit more advanced. I've sort of restarted a career mode, <clears throat> um, a different career mode just to play with. And I've only unlocked the tier 2 tech parts. So I wanted to actually show you guys really quickly um, how to reach an orbit with just tech, tech tier stuff to complete these contracts. Escaping the atmosphere and orbit Kerbin. Here we are in the vehicle assembly bay, tier uh, tech two orbiter. And we're gonna build a craft that is capable of reaching orbit with nothing but tech two, uh, tier two tech parts. Fuel tanks, we're gonna grab 11 of these. I'll hold down the alt key just to copy them really quick. There's two, four, eight, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 of those guys. Oh yeah, right here. <clears throat> Since we are going to be getting into orbit, we need to be able to come back safely. So we're going to put a decoupler here and that right there. This command pod, if re-enter dot correctly, is able to come back from uh, low carbon orbit without the use of a heat shield. Um, unless you're playing on uh, on a harder difficulty with 100%, 120% re-entry heat or something. Um, I'm assuming you're at 100% re-entry. You might be able to pull this off even then. I don't know. I haven't tried it. So your mileage may vary. Put our only liquid fuel engine here, which is the Reliant. And another stack decoupler. And then these hammer engines. One on the bottom. Two on the sides. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do some a little bit of advanced work on the staging, which most uh, really good players do. Uh, put the decoupler and the engine in the same staging node. We'll go ahead and save that. Overwrite the one that I already have. And launch. So I'm actually going to show you first how not to reach orbit. T, full throttle, hit the space bar and blast off. And we're going to head up as vertically as we can until these solid rocket boosters run out of juice. Stage that off, keep pushing ourselves. Uh, oh, oh, we've lost control of the ship. <clears throat> we're not gonna reach orbit. In fact, we're probably just gonna blow up and die. So, <clears throat> if you've ran into this problem, probably over and over and over again, I will show you how it is possible to make this rock rocket without any air fins or anything reach orbit. First, Back to the VAB. Okay, so here we are in the VAB. Uh, we're gonna make some changes to this to make it easier for us to reach orbit. First thing we noticed that we were getting too much speed too quickly and uh, air resistance, um, if we're going really, really fast, air resistance will push against the tip of the rocket and it's really hard to control with all of that, uh, with all that air pushing around. So I'm gonna take all of these hammers and limit their thrust. I'm right clicking on the hammers themselves to set the properties. Limit their thrust to 65%. And that's all the only change I'm going to do to this rocket to make it reach orbit. The rest of reaching orbit with a tier 2 finless rocket is all about how we handle it and making use of the gravity turn. So, first things first, T for SAS. I'm leaving my throttle at 50%. Don't change that. Tap the space bar to kick off your first stage, and we're up. After about 50 meters per second, I'm going to tap the D key a few times to get myself pushed over to 5, between 5 and 10 degrees above the horizon. And we're going to let ourselves accumulate some speed here. Now, what I really want to do is I want to keep myself pointed right in the middle of this marker. This is the prograde marker. And just like that. We can go ahead so we can see. Basically, we want all of our air resistance going straight down the column of the rocket. And we don't need to be applying full throttle. If we get going too fast, it becomes much harder to control a rocket like this. We are using some battery um, for these control inputs, as you can see here. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really back off the throttle because I'm at 15,000 meters. And the reason I'm backing off the throttle is because... I sort of want to let gravity and my natural flight arc, which is currently parabolic, I'm sorry, not parabolic, it's the wrong definition, is currently a suborbital trajectory. Um, 
I want to sort of come over on that and, and, and let myself fall closer to the horizon naturally. So I'm just giving it just enough thrust to sort of keep my speed up until my rocket comes over more. A little tap here and there. You can notice I have still have plenty of battery. And in doing so, I've shattered a whole bunch of records. Altitude records, distance records, speed records. Okay. We are at 35,000 meters, <clears throat> coming up on 45 degrees above the horizon. There we go. We're now in orbit mode, so we don't need to worry about uh, atmosphere nearly as much. I'm going to go ahead and hit full throttle. And at this point, I'm going to zoom in here, bring up my controls, and once again, keep pointing prograde. I'm just going to push this up to 72, or just above 70 kilometers. Just like that. And we're going to coast. More records have been shattered. Speed records. Distance records. So at this point, we are just coasting to this apoapsis. <clears throat> I'm going to wait until I'm fairly close and point myself at the horizon. Where are we? We're at 64 kilometers, so we should be coming out of space here pretty soon. With, uh, not quite half. Looks like about two-fifths of our tank available. So, right about here, I suppose, is as good as any. I'm going to go ahead and start increasing my throttle a bit. And this is indeed pushing our apoapsis out. I want to try to keep my apoapsis as low as possible. We are in space. That completes that contract. Now let's actually reach for orbit. Our orbit is getting wider. I want to keep doing this in front of the apoapsis, just a little bit in front of the apoapsis as much as possible. Okay, we're coming up on the apoapsis, so I'm going to hit full throttle. Chewing through our propellant. We're almost there. I don't want to push that apoapsis out much further. I want to stay really close to it while I do this. So a little bit of throttle here, right at the apoapsis. It's the most efficient way to do this. And flip. Shut down the engines when that thing flips around. And we now have ourselves a stable orbit. Let's go through the information. Contract complete. Orbit carbon. Bunch of money. Bunch of science. Distance records, speed records, altitude records, escape the atmosphere, all this kind of stuff with a Tech 2 rocket. <clears throat> and um, just to demonstrate that it is possible to recover this thing, we'll go ahead and get set for re entry. So I'm facing retrograde, I'll fire up the rocket, if the periapsis gets down to 35 kilometers or lower, we have a re-entry uh, trajectory and that barely used any propellant whatsoever. I'm Abraham, this is Kerbal Space Program, my channel is SimGamer TV. Thanks for watching this uh, kind of advanced tutorial on how to get a Tech 2 rocket into orbit. And until next time, while it is rocket science. It's not that hard. Goodbye.